Hey, good afternoon. Happy Sunday Crafternoon. I hope that you guys are having a really good day. I'm right where I need to be. This is a good thing. Make sure my volume is turned off so we have no echoes and we're good. Hey guys, happy Sunday to you. I hope that you've had a really good weekend. This is the card we're going to be making today, but we'll get more into that in a little bit. So I just wanted to show you the host code uh, that is available until the end of this month. And speaking about of the end of the month, holy moly, we're almost to the end of June, you guys. It's crazy, crazy, right? So with that being said, I just want to go through a couple of things with you guys as far as what's happening here at the chalet. Hey, Kristen, how are you? Happy Sunday afternoon to you. Okay, just a few things going on. Um, first of all, I did, I did, I did print a couple things out. I had to find them. Sorry, guys. So just to remind you guys of a couple of things, I'm going to scoot this over here and put this here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see all that or not. Probably not, huh? Well, we'll move it around. Okay, just a reminder on a couple things. Um, first of all, we have our last chance list that's happening with our mini catalog, the January through June catalog, and it will expire June the after June the 30th or the night of the June 30th. And there is a last chance list. Um, I know that there's a lot of things that are no longer available, but there's still some left, you guys. So if you do want to shop the last chance list and see what is available, see if you can save a little bit of money too, um, go ahead and go to my online store, which is Dawn's Creative Chalet dot stampin up dot nut and click on the last chance and it's going to show you everything that is available yet you're going to get instant gratification on what might be available or give me a call directly and i can help you with that as well because i can also see instantly as i put a number into the system what is and is not available hey nancy how you doing nancy's on my team i love her dearly she's awesome um, also, we do have branded merchandise, and I know I showed you guys a mug that I have. I also have the sweatshirt. I have the grid paper. It's awesome. This is also found at my online store if you guys are into having something that says Stampin' Up! on it. I know that our mugs are, um, I guess that's what you call them, right? Thermos mugs. Um, they're big. They hold a lot of nice, refreshing ice water on a hot day. <laughs> <laughs> and Lord knows we've had a lot of those. So anyway, if you're wanting to grab some of that stuff, um, the branded merchandise is it's gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. And then also we have our kits collection. And there's a sale on the kits right now, you guys. Uh, that's in effect till the end of June. And that's buy one, get one at 50% off. Now, just a little notation for you on this. In case you are shopping in my online store, make sure that even if you want two of the same exact kit, make sure you put in every single one of them individually. And I know that that's a little tedious, but that's how the system is going to recognize and take off 50% on the second kit. Ask me how I know. <laughs> Dawn messed up. Anyway, and then we have something coming up called Craft for a Cause. And you know what? I showed it last week and I forgot to bring it in here because my my classroom's kind of down the hall and around the corner. But um, this will be coming up into July when our new mini catalog goes live. And I'll be talking more about it. So stay tuned. It's so super cute. It's got the cutest like little lunch pail it's lined so even if you just want to go on a little I don't know excursion to the beach um or a picnic or something like that putting some munchies in some cheese you know beer crackers <laughs> all the necessities you know and then also you get to make these beautiful cards that have absolutely no stamping they're so cute and so easy anybody can put them together so anyway um, just wanted to let you know about those things that are going on. Also, we have Paper Pumpkin coming up. So if you'd like to receive the July kit, 
just make sure to sign up by the 10th of this month. I had to think about that. <laughs> no, 10th of next month. See, I'm already thinking it's July and it's not July. I'm rushing things. I was getting confused when the 4th of July was. Oh my goodness. So anyway, sign up by the 10th of July, not June, because that's been long gone. <laughs> Apparently like my brain. Anyway, um, what else, what else, what else? Let's see here. Oh, upcoming events here at the chalet. Yeah, we have to do this, right? So for those of you who are local, on Thursday, July the 7th, I have my catalog kickoff for the July through December book. So I'm calling it a holiday party. Isn't that crazy? Like Christmas in July, you guys. So you'll need to RSVP no later than July the 3rd. We're going to make five projects. I'll have catalogs. I'll have displays for you to look at, new product for you to see, feel, touch, all of that good stuff. And it's $25 or free with the minimum order. Celebration will be starting at the same time. Yay! Who does not like celebration, right? Um, that means free stuff. So anyway, come one, come all. Tell your friends. The more, the merrier. Just RSVP no later than the 3rd of July. And I'll continue to remind you. Um, I do put all this information in my weekly, sometimes more than once a week, newsletters to keep you all posted on what's going on here at the Chalet. So make sure that uh, you click on the link above and sign up for my newsletter if you have not already, and you'll get all these notifications as well in your email. That way we can keep in touch, right? We're BFFs. Um, also, on July 14th, on Thursday, I'll have my creative card class. In fact, I should show you guys this stuff, shouldn't I? Let's, let's do that. So, first of all, Oh my gosh, my nose is running. I got a story with that one, you guys. You'll laugh at me, but we'll we'll talk about that <laughs> in a minute. I'm such a bonehead. Um, let me see here. Okay, so we're going to be making these five cards for the catalog kickoff. It is using all new product, um, featuring a lot of the celebration product and celebration product that matches with product in the new mini catalog. And once you see everything, you're going to be like, I need it all. Trust me, it is so good. Okay, so that's for July the 7th. On the 14th, we have da, 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 this class, A Wash with Beauty. And this will be again on July 14th. And I have 10 a.m., 1 p.m., or 6.30 p.m. available. Make sure to RSVP with me no later than July the 10th, I believe. Yep, on the 10th. If you'd like to be part of this class, if you're local to me and I'm in Scottville, Lovington, Scottville area, I should say. I don't want to admit that I'm actually in Scottville. There's a reason for that. <laughs> oh, anyway, and then um, on July 16th, before I show you this other class, on July 16th, I'm having my 12th, I think it's the 12th, 13th, I'm losing track now, it's got to be like the 12th, the 12th annual BOGO sale. So what you purchase on product during my BOGO sale, you'll get a coupon to shop for um, as much as you want, but you use the coupon towards the amount. You have to spend at least the minimum of the coupon. But if you'd like to go over, you'd just be responsible for any overage, shipping, and tax. Hello, Deb. How are you? Welcome. Happy happy Sunday crafternoon. Um, anyway, so the BOGO sale, if you're within a 50-mile radius, it's something that is worth the drive. Pack your girlfriends in the car, all your paper crafting friends, and bring them on over. That'll be on July the 16th. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. And it's, in fact, just down the road from the chalet. It's on South Amber Road in Scottville. It is um, a cute little town hall, and there's a lot of parking, uh, whereas where I'm located, it's on a very busy road. So I just feel more comfortable with everybody using the town hall where there's plenty of parking and lots of room to spread out because I'm going to have a lot of stuff to sell. 
The BOGO is always something that everybody looks forward to. And then on July the 28th, I have my product-based class where you get designer series paper and embellishment and a bolt of ribbon along with the class. So this class is going to be on July 28th. And you'll need to RSVP by the 14th of July because I need to have time to order the product, prep your cards, and have time to stamp with you guys. So anyway, that's coming up all in July. Oh my gosh, my nose is running so bad. That's like TMI, isn't it? Let me grab a Kleenex. So let me tell you what I did. <laughs> Dawn's brilliant idea. Um, I... Uh, was doing laundry today. <laughs> I can't help but laugh myself because I'm not a very domestic chick, apparently. And we were, I'm in a house, kind of a temporary thing. And um, I have this very old washing machine, um, like a Kenmore, if that tells you anything. For those who are in the States, it was made by, you know, a Sears product and Sears hasn't been around forever. But anyway, I wanted to do whites and I don't have a lot of whites. So I, I was waiting to do the whites. So anyway, long story short, hopefully, um, I was turning the buttons on the silly thing without my glasses on. Now, for those of you, and I know that there's a couple here that if I've text with you before, even with my glasses on, it's, it's horrible. So with my glasses off and texting or doing just about anything, obviously, um, I have bad eyeballs. So I, I was changing the wrong setting on the washing machine and I couldn't figure out why I was smelling bleach big time in the house. I'm like, what is going on? Um, it smells very sterile, which is, I guess, good. <clears throat> but <laughs> I put it on like, what do they call it, water saver or something like that. And it just like, it filled up this little tiny sink that is in the laundry room. I, I, I don't even get it. I don't even know why I did it. I thought I was adjusting something else. And yeah, it was, anyway. So my nose is running, my eyes are watering, and I've let the dog out so she doesn't breathe the fumes. <laughs> Goodness sakes. Anyway. Okay, back to the good stuff. <laughs> oh, I tell you, if there's anything that's going to happen around here, I will do it. I swear. It's it's kind of comical, really. Um, so I really can't show you the inside of the book, but I was trying to find something here. Where did it go? Anyway, Celebration is happening along with this book, Kicking into Gear, on July 1st. And then, of course, Celebration will have for two months, July 1st, through the end of August. I'm like still laughing at myself. It's funny. Anyway, so um, you should have gotten a book from me if you have placed an order with me previously. If you don't have a demonstrator and you're viewing this and you're interested in getting a catalog, or actually catalogs, because I'll send you the annual catalog along with the mini catalog and the celebration brochure, um, what I'll have you do is just PayPal me $10 once you reach out to me, and then I will send you the catalogs and a $10 coupon that you can use with your first order with me. You'll just need to contact me directly to take care of that because that's something through me, not through Stampin' Up. Anyway, so I'll make sure that you get what you need so you can see all of our beautiful products because they are amazing. Okay, I think I went through everything. Let's go ahead and do some crafting. Are you guys ready? I'm ready, along with my watery eyes. Whoo! So a couple of things that we are going to use today, if you don't have them, I use these so much. This is actually a bundle, and it's in our annual catalog. These are called the Scallop Contour Dies, and I'm constantly using these for so many things. And then we have this edge die right here that is a lot of fun. We're not using it today, but I use it a bit. This is like one of my go-to sets as far as excuse me, shapes go um, with dies. So along with that, if you start to collect dies, you're going to need our stamp and cut and emboss machine as well. Now I already did all the cutting on my 
stamp and cut and emboss machine just because sometimes it takes a little bit too long and because I talk so much, I try to eliminate a little bit of time so you guys aren't here all afternoon listening to me. Anyway, so that is one of the things we are using today. So when I, when I refer to the scallop dies, that's what we're using. Hi, Kathy, how are you? Long time no see. Um, the other bundle that we're going to use today is Happiness Abounds and these dies that coordinate with it. What's really cool about these dies, and I know I went through this a while back, but not everybody watches every one of my Facebook Lives. So anyway, with that being said, what's really cool about these dies is, first of all, obviously they work with the stamp set, but we also have our designer series paper, if you look in our catalog, which is right here. And with the suite of product, these dies fit in some of the um, pattern in the paper, those flowers, so you can cut the flowers out and not have to color flowers, which in my case, and I know I, see, I say it all the time, I'm a lazy crafter. I don't want to have to color, color, color everything. Um, I like to get cards done. That's just my thing. I want them to be cute, but I don't want to spend 10 hours on a card. <laughs> so for me, this route is awesome. So what we're going to use today, I took those dies and I cut out the, um, the flowers. And I'll show you my whole flower garden that I have in a container. After I spent time cutting all these out, I saved them. Then that way I always have the flowers available for projects like, for instance, today. So anyway, and that's on page 108, 109 of the annual catalog. And this suite of product is very, very pretty. This one caught my eye immediately. It's gorgeous. And then, what else am I using here? So we have that, that, and I thought that there was another. Aha, yes there is. So also, this is another one of my go-to sets. This is new, this annual catalog. These are the Stylish Shapes dies. And if you have the older Stitched Shapes dies, these are a lot like that. Um, what I really love, though, are these these little banner dies, because not only do they cut out the banner for me, so I don't have to do it with scissors, because I don't know about you guys, I'll start with a piece of paper that's like this long, and then by the time I try to get the little flag on the ends straight, I have a piece of paper that's about this big. <laughs> so this is like a sure bet, they're cut, and they have the stitching around them, which is really cool. So I really, really, really dig these dies. So this is another good go-to in your craft stash. Along with, of course, needing the stamp and cut and emboss machine. Okay, so I think I covered all that. And then this is my flower garden, as I was just talking about. So you can buy these cases in our annual catalog. Um, they come four to a pack. I can't remember the cost of them, but I know that they're not that expensive. But I love them for things like this, to keep like my memories and more cards in, um, just other loose things like this. And as I cut all of these little flowers, I have a safe place for them so they don't get bent. And then what I also like to do is rubber band these to the bundle. Then that way, when it's on my shelf, it is all together and I know where to find them instantly. So we're, I've already picked out some flowers that we're going to use on the card. Okay, let's see. Um, where did I put the card? Oh, <laughs> here it is. So this is the card that we will be making today. I don't know what to call it other than a slider card. It's so easy, you guys. Once you see how to make these, um, it's kind of like, what do I want to call it? An evergreen idea which means that, you know, no matter what theme you have, whether it's a Christmas card, a birthday card, a get well card, a sympathy card, um, they're all going to work with this particular, I guess, fun fold, if you want to call it that. I guess it would be a fun fold. So anyway, so the card opens like this. It slides and then it opens. 
Pretty cool, right? So you need this little gap in here, and then I'm gonna show you how to make the slider portion of it so that once again, now watch, I'm not gonna be able to put this in together just because I'm live. But anyway, it really isn't that difficult. Um, <laughs> except for Dawn, who's blonde. Okay, get in there. Maybe we'll do it from this way. Okay, so we're gonna put that in there. And then this in, in between, there we go, I think. It really isn't that difficult. I'm just, I don't know, shaky today and full of fumes from bleach. <laughs> so anyway, so this is what we're gonna make today. So um, if you don't get all the measurements, of course, just remember that this stays on my page. Also, I'll be putting this video on YouTube so you can watch the replay or also go to my blog. It'll be posted there no later than three o'clock this afternoon. And that's dawnscreativechalet.com. All of my Facebook Lives are housed on my blog as well as YouTube. So feel free to cruise on over and check it out. You can watch all the older versions of Facebook Live with me. All right, so are all your windows open? No, Nancy, not all of them, but it's getting better now. I <laughs> I'll be fine. It's actually probably good because it's kind of, it, it smells very clean, if anything. I have to laugh at myself. What can I say? I'm so silly. <laughs> so first of all, what we're going to do, I've cut a piece. This is thick Whisper White cardstock, and I cut it at four and a quarter by 11. Now, I don't think I trimmed this down but we are going to need to take one quarter inch off, which I guess I did do. Okay, so you're going to want to cut it down to ten and three quarters by four and a quarter. And it looks like I already chopped it off. So we're good to go there. And then what you're going to do, we need to score each end on the long side. So, um, hey, Nancy with a Y, how are you? <laughs> Nancy with an IE and Nancy with a Y. You guys are awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to score on each side of the long side or the horizontally at two and five eighths inches. So everybody laughs at me because I'm always like, okay, two and five eighths. That means it's a half inch plus two ticks. What the heck, right? And actually I'm in the wrong version. There we go. See, I almost messed up already. So two and a half and then two ticks. And I'm always laughed at because it it's like, no, those are not ticks. Ticks are something that you find outside and you don't want those. What can I say? It's the blonde in me. So I go two and a half and two little lines. <laughs> and that's two and five eighths and we score. So now both sides are scored at two and five eighths inches. And then we can put the arm away on our, oh my gosh, what the heck am I doing? There we go. And if you guys don't have this paper trimmer, must have. I've been a paper crafter for a long time and this has gotta be one of the best paper trimmers I've ever owned. I've gone through, I don't know how many Fiskars trimmers. You remember those? Oh yeah, <laughs> been through them all. Okay, so did I do, no, I did it right, no? Uh-oh, let me double check something here. Maybe I grabbed the wrong piece when I was prepping. Nope, that's right. Let me measure it one more time. So four and a quarter by 11. So we sliced that in half, four and a quarter. Yep. And then this piece we need at uh, da, 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 10 and three quarters. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I measured this wrong. Let me see here on my scoring. Get it where you guys can see it. Mm. Two and a half and two ticks. Okay. All right. Hmm. I just thought there was going to be a wider gap because my on my other card, you'll see that there is actually a wider gap in the middle here. So I think what I'm gonna do, instead of 
trying to figure that out while you're all watching me going, Dawn, you're so out of it today. I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to trim a tick off on either side. This is going to help where it slides. Okay. So if you have that problem, just do what I just did. It's a great remedy and it will work. Okay. So when you close it, you have this little gap here and that's what's going to help the mechanism in the middle slide. All right. We're back on track. And then you're going to want to, and I picked, let me grab it here. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, so this is the paper. Here's the pack that I have opened that's been chopped and loved a bit. But this is the Hues of Happiness DSP. It's gorgeous. And that's what we're using. All right, so I already cut my DSP, as we call it. Now I want you guys to help me out on a decision. I can either do the same exact card with the DSP here that I cut, whoops. And by the way, the DSP is cut at, you're gonna need two pieces, four by two and three eighths. Now that I've trimmed it, okay, good, it still works. Yay, because I was thinking my DSP now that I've trimmed this other part was not going to work. Anyway, we can keep it the same as the other card, or should we change it out and make the background DSP a little darker? I'll let you guys go ahead and vote. I may have to trim this down just a tiny bit, but what do you guys think? Should we go with the darker color? Or should we stick with what we have on the first card? I hear a dark. Anybody else? I know it's a little delayed, so I'll wait for, wait a second here. Give you guys a chance to type, type, type. So dark or light, something different. See how it works out. Nancy says she loves the navy. Kristen does as well. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go. Bleh. My tongue is tight today as well. Maybe that bleached out my tongue. <laughs> also, you know those scallop dies that I was showing you guys? You need to have two of these cut out. And I would suggest using the um, change it up, Nancy with an IE says. All right, we're going to do that, you guys. We're going to be adventurous. So the scallop dies that I used, you're going to want to cut two of them out. And I use thick whisper, whisper white, basic white cardstock, okay? And the reason being is if it gets handled, it'll take a little bit more, um, you know, with people messing with it, playing with it, sliding it, than our other paper. It's just a little bit more substantial in weight. So I think 100 pound cardstock. Um, so anyway, I use the the thick basic white cardstock to cut these. And also another little note, you could use other shapes on this card. Just keep in mind that when it covers the front of the card, the larger that the spaces that you have um, on the outside of the card, when you write on the inside of the card, then it won't show as much. Does that make sense? But you could use any shape. And then also, I cut a piece of DSP at, let me see, what was this? And it lines just inside the scallop edge, if you can see that. I love these dies, because not only do they scallop, they have that little stitching around them as well, which is really, really cute. It just adds a little extra. So that's about two and five eighths by three and seven eighths inch on the DSP. So we're gonna go ahead first of all, and I'm going to take my seal and we are going to just stick it to the front of one of these scallop rectangles, like so. And then the next thing we're going to do, I'm kind of gonna sort of eyeball it, but I think it's around six of the scallops. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Where's the seven? I would say about six. 
So six scallops down, and this is the second largest scallop that I used from the set. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a, take a pen. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna mark it on the back, okay? Nothing fancy, just a little mark there so that I can remember. And then the next thing that I'm going to do for this little sliding mechanism, um, I like to take, as, as I call it, the crust of our dimensionals. So that's the edging that's around all the dimensionals that we use, um, like this. I call that like the bread crust. I don't know, I'm weird. I have silly names for everything in my craft room. So what I'm gonna do, if you guys can see, let me bend this so you can actually see it. There we go, that's that's perfect. So you're gonna wanna use this side. Um, this side is a little thicker, so you wouldn't wanna use that. You wanna use the side that has a thinner crust along these two sides. And I'm gonna cut, if you guys can see this, right there. Okay, and I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and cut it right about there. And then we're gonna take that piece, and now we have a skinny, whoops, there we go, <laughs> a skinny oblong dimensional. We're using the crust. It's so funny because when I have class, um, my girls don't like to use the crust. So I'm always using it all the time and I just cut it to what I need in size. Hi, Shelly, how are you? Happy Sunday Crafternoon to you and thank you for joining. So anyway, I, I kind of eyeballed that for the middle. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead, take this piece, and then I'm going to take the the opposite, how do I want to call this? The negative, the negative side? The side that I wouldn't want to show. Let's put it that way. And this is the plain one. I'm gonna lay it down. And I can match this up with the scallops on the other die perfectly. Super easy, right? And that's going to be our sliding mechanism in the middle. So we're gonna go ahead and put that aside for a couple of minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the designer paper on the front of the card. Whoops, I think this is gonna to have to be trimmed. Just, just a tick, trimmed a tick. We're gonna do that because I just wanna make sure with my measurements that I kinda of messed up on, that'll be perfect. And that is perfect. And then again, I'm gonna make sure you know, I'm gonna trim that one down to just a tick. <laughs> Everything is a tick <laughs> in Dawn's world. And then we're gonna glue that down to that. So we're just going to make this one slightly different with a different color of DSP within the same pack. And there we are. So pretty easy peasy, right? Now we're gonna set that aside. We're gonna go back to this. And I have some pieces of greenery that I cut out of the DSP. I have this piece cut from the stylish shapes. And then I have my flowers that I cut out, oh my gosh, at least a month ago that I have in that little flower garden of, um, yeah, this here, all my flowers. So I can just pick and choose what I would like. It takes a little bit of time to cut them out originally, but it's worth it in the end because now I don't have to worry about it. I can just pick and choose what I need for a project and just go to town. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and put these on with my favorite thing, dimensionals. There we are. And peel off the tops. Don't be a dawn and don't peel, forget to peel them off and wonder why they aren't sticking because I know laugh, but I've done that. I don't know how many times I'm like, what is going on with my dimensionals? And it's just dawn having a blonde moment. <laughs> Anybody else ever do that? Like, I don't know. I just get lost 
uh, into thoughts when I'm crafting, which is part of the reason why I love to craft so much. It's kind of an escape. But at the same time, sometimes I do some really goofy things. Okay, that looks good. We're going to go ahead and just make sure that they are in place. And then I like to use my multi-purpose glue. I just have to be careful with it because otherwise I can be a hot mess with this stuff. But it is good stuff. And I just put a little glue and we're just going to add some greenery to the front of the card. Here we go. We'll use this one. And just a just a tiny bit of glue. A little of this stuff does go a long way. Like I said, usually I just get it all over the place. And that's not good, including my fingers and everything is sticking to me. Okay, there we go. Put the rest away. And then from this set here, I love all the sentiments. And one thing that really caught my eye with this set is the mix of the fonts. I'm a font girl big time. Who else loves like, I'm addicted to fonts. Anybody, anybody else like a font freak? as I call it, but I love the mix of them. So I thought that I would go ahead and choose this one, the sending many thanks for all you do. I'm always in need of thank you cards. So that's the one that I chose today. I'm also using the H block. I heard like knocking near my window. I'm like, what is that? Oh, goodness sakes, lots going on around here. <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, photopolymer stamps, and I almost forgot, need a piercing mat, or if you have something like a mouse pad or an old magazine, use it when you use your photopolymer stamps. Um, these stamps are awesome. I call them clear, clear stamps because you can see through them. But with that, um, they don't have the cushion that the red rubber stamps have. And the cushion on the stamps is what helps you get that crisp, clean image when you stamp with it. So this little guy helps to give the cushion in place of what the red rubber stamps normally have. Did that make any sense? I hope so. Sometimes I think I ramble on and on and on. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my stamp with my Simply Shammy. There we are. And by the way, whenever I especially notice it when I'm using my um, my bright pinks, my purples and reds, you're going to notice that your photopolymer stamps, if you've never used them before, if you're new to stamping, they are going to discolor. Um, they just do. But you know what my answer is to that? It's okay, get over it, the stamp still works and you can still make pretty things with it. <laughs> Seriously. But some people are really, really fussy about that, but I'm like, you know, it still stamps the same. It doesn't stamp any different. You still get the same image. I don't know. That's the sassy side of me. But it's out of love. It is out of love. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put some dimensionals on the back of our flagged piece or dovetails, whatever you like to call these little guys. And we're gonna go ahead and center it-ish onto the card front. And there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and take this card base. And remember where I put that piece kind of in the middle-ish? So we're going to tuck these two flaps in the middle of these two whoops, I'm really, okay, in the middle of these two scallop dies that are being held together with that oblong piece of dimensional. There we go. There we go. Now it still needs a couple of things. And see how that slides back and forth? Isn't that cool? So it still needs a little bit of stuff. In Dawn's world, we have to have a little bit of bling. I'm going to go ahead and use the Glossy Dots Assortment and my Picket Tool. 
And let's go ahead, we'll do, we'll do blues. This blue is kind of pretty. Whoops, if I can pick it up, there we go. This picket tool is really handy, especially if you have fake nails like me. <laughs> it's, it's just really handy to pick up all these little things. There we go, we'll put one there. No, we don't want him there. We'll, oh my gosh. Kind of dropped him too far down and he just went flying. So, okay. There we are. Uh, we'll put him here on the flower. That looks good. And then we still need something else. We need some linen thread. So I'm going to take my handy dandy bow maker. I love this thing because I am always in need of a third hand when I make bows. And if you guys remember from last week, I still have the hot mess <laughs> with my linen thread. Oh my gosh, I hate when I do that. Anyway, let's go ahead and we're going to make a bow. In fact, you know what? Let's try, let's try a double bow. Let me see if I can really mess this up. I'm going to be adventurous. Whoops, maybe I won't be. Yikes, let's try it. So I'd wrap this around twice. Oh no, there we go. Maybe, yeah, there we are. And maybe not. Okay, so I like that. That. Nope. Okay. You know what? Erase that thought. We're just going to do the single bow that Dawn can handle to do. <laughs> I know it would just be wrapping it one more time, but right now I'm obviously in need of a brain reboot. There we are. I'm going to go ahead, trim its tails. And a glue dot. And put this on just like so. And there, there we go. <laughs> we survived. Awesome. Oh my gosh. I think I do like it with the darker DSP from that same pack of paper. It kind of makes this really, it really pops, doesn't it? Where this one is more subtle. Um, which one do you guys like better? Which one's your favorite? I'll wait a second for you guys to type. I should have like the Jeopardy tune going. <laughs> but I like them both. But I think this one, like I said, just pops a little bit more. It's a lot of fun. So great job, you guys, for helping me pick out the dark paper. But this, again, is just a, a neat little fun fold, something a little different. And um, it's kind of a little more interactive. What's going Let's see here. I'm trying to read the comments because I can see them better actually on my phone. Kristen says she loves them both. Well, thank you, Kristen. But anyway, I hope that you guys found this helpful and that you'll give this fun fold a try. Um, like I said, it's, it's pretty generic, so you could use it with just about any theme. And I just want to thank you guys for being here this afternoon. I know there's a lot of things you could be doing right now on a Sunday afternoon. And for those of you watching the replay, also, thank you so much. I appreciate you. And if there's anything that you've seen here that you'd like to grab up and have in your stash of stuff, you can go ahead and shop at my online store right there. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to me. I'm here to help. But thanks so much, you guys. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time for Sunday Crafternoon with Dawn. Have a great day. Bye-bye.